Hi, in this video we'll be going over how to create a splash screen. First we can see our logo and then it fades away and takes us to our level. So first we're going to right click and create our new folder and I'm just going to name this UI and if we just go inside it, you want to find the UI image which is going to be your splash screen and just drag it into Unreal Engine. And then what I normally do is I right click and then Sprite Actions and apply Paper 2D just to make the image a bit more clear. So after this, we're going to right click, go to user interface and find the widget blueprint. And I'm just going to name this splash as this is going to be our splash screen which we'll use. And if we go inside this, under palette, if we search in the palette, if we go for the image, this will be where we select our image. I'm just going to drag this out a bit. Then you want to find the image, so mine's the Nintendo one, so I'll just select it. And just drag it so it is the right size. That's good for me. And then you want to anchor it in the middle. Okay, and then you'll compile and save. So if we go to add animation, and I'm just gonna call this splash anim. And if we click on this, you wanna click on the track and just select the image. So mine's image underscore 49. So I'm gonna select that. And if we go on the track, we're gonna track, we want to track its uh, render opacity. opacity. So if we just click on that, and then I'm just going to drag mine off for three seconds. So this is going to be how long it's going to take to completely fade into nothing. So the first one, if we just click that little plus button and it will track it. So now I'm going to make my next one around one. And I'm going to set the opacity to 0.5 and click enter and that will just save it. And then I'm going to go all the way to the end and select zero. And at this stage our thing will be zero and we can see as we slide it our image gets more and more opaque and we can also track other things like a transform if you want to make the image go bigger or smaller as the seconds go along so you can just play around on that so if we next go to our graph off, off of event construct we're going to have play animation and then in the variables we're just going to drag in the animation we just created and just plug it to in animation and we'll just compile and save. So next we just want to get this set up and working in our level. So I'm just going to find the default level and uh, rename this level one as I'm going to make it. So after our splash screen has loaded, it's going to load the first level or this can load the main menu for your game. So if we right click and create level and I'll, again, I'll just call this splash. And if we go inside, just going to save. And if we go inside the level blueprints, of the event begin play, I'm going to search for widget. We'll just scroll up and create widget. Then I'm going to collect, select the splash that I just created. And I'm going to add this to the viewport. And then after a delay, because my animation's three seconds, I'm going to make after four seconds to so complete the animation, it's going to open up our level to the default level, which I just renamed. And if I compile and play, we can see that it shows the logo and then over time it slowly fades. And that's how to make a splash screen. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.